Oh, yeah, we know the teacher. Yes. Yes. Good evening, teacher. <clears throat> Good evening. Mm. Well. Entonces, and sometimes I, I I don't understand. I don't found I don't found uh, the letter. <laughs> The words, because the words, the correct yeah, words, the correct to words, speak. Yes, uh, yes. me to too. Speak. But I tried, I, I tried all days, all days. Yeah. Yes. Um. We have to to practice every day, but uh, in the in the day by day, we uh, sometimes not uh, have uh, whenever we we practice. We practice. Me too. I, I don't mm -hmm. have a, in the in the work um, the the men who working with me. A duras penas ha llegado a segundo grado <laughs> no. it's impossible in, in my in my in my work uh, there are many many nurses doctors and uh, another people but they aren't uh, interested in in learning another language yes and uh, yeah. my house my 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 older son yeah. uh, he um he speak uh english but not nice Fluency. and uh, right now he is studying in the college and uh, wow. uh, we haven't any time to practice together yes mm -hmm. okay in my case my granddaughter Speak English fluency. Um, my son, too, and my daughter is in the same. They they speak English fluency, but that's good. for me. I I I hope uh, can speak better. <laughs> yeah. I hope to. Okay. ladies and gentlemen how are you doing today can you hear me guys hi teacher hello good evening 
Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How's everybody? Good to see you very well. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. All right, guys. Uh, how are you? How was your day? It was very Easy. nice. Very excellent. Excellent. Hard day at work or easy? Because we live in early uh, from work and we have time uh, to do other other things because uh, we went to the bank with my wife. You went to the bank with your wife? Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. All right. Nice. Nice. What about everybody else? In my case, teacher, uh, today it was um, really busy, busy in the in the morning because uh, in my clinic I I attended uh, fifteen five patients in five hours, and in the, at noon um, in the hospital, two pregnant women was. Uh, Having the baby <laughs> at the wow. same time, and uh, <laughs> it was very uh, stressful. But stressing, uh, stressing. Thank you. Uh, it was very stressy and uh, interesting and busy. Uh, wow. Mm, oh. Okay. Oh. All right, all right, very good, guys, very good. Okay, so anyhow, let's get started, guys, because uh, we gotta uh, uh, we gotta start talking about a very important topic today. So let's get to it. Okay, welcome aboard, guys, and let's get started. Okay, welcome, guys, welcome. All right, so today, guys, we're gonna go over infinitive and gerund phrases. Um, so. We're going to go over, you know, the meaning of infinitives, how to use them, what are they, you know, endurance as well. And we're going to have some activities at the end. So let's get started. So first of all, guys, before we even get started, um, does anybody have any idea what gerund phrases are? Or like, or like gerunds and if, or forget about the word phrases, right? So let's talk about infinitives and gerunds. Do we know what, a, what an infinitive is or what a gerund is? Uh, there are verbs that with uh, ing ending, and there are gerunds and infinitives. There are formed uh, with the words to plus the verb. Very good. Okay. Very good job. All right. So let me ask you something. So if I said, let me bring up the whiteboard. So if I said, let's see, I am playing basketball. Now, is this an is this a is this a is this a gerund? Gerund. Plain. Is that a gerund? Yes, it's gerund. Yes. All right. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Best of course. All right. Can we bet because one hundred dollars? This is mentioning <laughs> ing. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So you're at one hundred percent sure that you could bet one hundred. After the verb to be, you use ing, yes, it's an action. I'm playing, yes. Yes, it's an action, it's a verb. Yes. Okay, all right, so, okay. All right, all right, very good, very good. So, so you're sure, okay. What about this? Um, she is singing. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. She is singing tonight. So, mm -hmm. she's singing tonight. Uh, is this, is this a turn? Yes, it's a gerund. Yes. Right. No, 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 no. No, that's a present continuous. Present continuous. So what is the difference between this and this then? Because I mean, it's the, so, same. It's the same thing. So there. So yeah. both of them. Both of them are are gerunds. No. No. Yes. No. Yes? <laughs> no. I like this. I like this energy. I like this energy. Okay, so tonight is the time, but basketball you don't say time. Is that okay. only the difference? Yeah. Is the answer, guys? Mm -hmm. 
it's a bird, but it's a, it's a profession. Teacher. Tell me. Good evening. I'm sorry. Um, well, I believe that the second one is something that is going to happen. So it's like a future. Yes. Uh, future. We, uh, supposing right. we are in the morning and she's singing tonight, but yeah. the, the action is not in the, in the moment, right? All right. In the first. Yes. Well, let's say she's singing right now, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. yes. That's a progressive. Yes. Is that a, is that a progressive? Okay, so is, is that a gerund or not? I want a final answer. That is gerund. Yes. These, these are gerunds? Okay. Are no, yes. gerunds are not verbs, are object uh, or subject in the, in the sentence. <laughs> All right, so the answer, guys, no, so, these are not gerunds. Oh. These are not gerunds, okay? I and I needed to understand the importance of understanding so, this. All right, give me give me one second so I can... I like this participation, guys. This is actually the best participation I've gotten from any class. So here's the thing. It's okay? a, so present progressive. Yes, that is correct. Okay, so here's here's one thing. Okay, so guys, um, you have to think about the part <clears throat> of speech, right? So it's important that you know what a gerund is part first, so you can understand today's topic. Okay, so just because a verb, guys, is an ing, right? Like singing or dancing or talking or fighting okay just because a verb is an ing doesn't mean that's going to turn out to be a uh, a, yeah, a yeah. gerund right no a gerund guys okay let me tell you what a gerund is okay a gerund okay works as a noun okay right and a noun, guys, right? A noun can be in the position, right? Of a the beginning. Right. So it could be right, it could be the subject. Or the object. Right. Or it could be all right. Or it could be an object, right? And a subject and an object are the same thing. It's just the position changes, you know? And one is the one sending, like doing the action and the other one is receiving the action from the verb, right? Sounds good? Yeah, right. All right, so how can, how, how can we turn? Okay, so, so, so very good. So let me ask you something again, right? I mean, let me ask you something else. Okay, so if I say, guys, dancing, is this a gerund? Yeah. How do you know? No, we don't know yet. We do not know, right? <laughs> we know that's a verb. That's for sure. We don't it's know, a right? Dancing is subject. Nope. I don't know yet. If I said, okay, so if I say, you know, if I said, right, I am dancing. No. This, this is not, not a chair. Yeah. No, when you All start right? with dancing, yes. No, not not only because you start with dancing. Okay, I'll I'll let you know. Okay, if listen, guys, listen, right? Just a minute. Okay, so do me. I'm gonna meet some of you guys. Okay, so if I say, guys, I am dancing, right? I am doing the action. Okay, if I am doing the action at the moment, right? That represents an right. That represents a progressive action, and that's called a present participle. Okay, that is what we call a present participle. Okay. What about this? Uh, I like, I like dancing. All right. So here, guys, we have we have a subject, right? And then we have an object, right? The object is the receiver of this action, right? Mm -hmm. So, right. And this right here, this is you don't. This is not. I'm just gonna tell you just because, but you don't need to know, right? This is right now a linking verb, right? So this is here, this verb is here just to link information, right? So I like dancing, right? You have a subject and you have an object because remember an object and a subject guys can only be nouns, right? Or they can be pronouns, correct? They can <laughs> only be these two things, okay? So because dancing is acting as an object, in this case, this is a gerund, okay? Now, let me give you another example. Let me make this easier for you, okay? Do you know, do you know Cheyenne? 
Yes. We all know Cheyenne, right? That's yes, yes. That's that's our our dad, right? So you know, so if you know Cheyenne, right? So you can put it like this, okay? You can say, right? I like Cheyenne, right? You like listening to Cheyenne, right? So you can say I like Cheyenne, right? So here's the same thing. You have an object. I mean, you have a subject, right? And then you have an object, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Cheyenne here is actually a noun. Right, and this is actually a pronoun, right? Whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's the same thing. It's the same thing, right? Since you know a gerund works as a subject and an object, we can also say, you know, dancing is something, right? I like, or you can say dancing is fun. Does that make sense? Why? Because dancing is taking the, all right, is taking the place of the subject, okay? So remember the difference, right? If I say I am dancing, then in this case, this is not, this is not an, this is not a gerund because you're actually representing an action that's happening right now, right? And that is a present participle, right? PP, right? Is that clear? Yes. yes. All right. Okay, very good. So now that is the difference, guys, between you know a gerund and a and a, a gerund and, and a present participle. Okay. So it's a mistake to assume that we have it's a mistake to assume, guys, that we have a uh, that, that a gerund is is a, a gerund just because it's in ing. That is that term is absolutely incorrect, okay? So uh, so we'll talk about infinitive phrases, right? And gerund phrases. So what, what are infinitive phrases? Uh, Who would like to help me read? Me, teacher? Go ahead. What, what are infinitive phrases? Definition, a verb of phrases that begins with to followed by a verb. Example, to think is her patient. Thank you very much, right? So it's a verbal phrase that begins with two followed by a verb, right? Mm -hmm. So we know it's an infinitive, guys. It's easy to determine it because we can say this, right? Plus the base, the base form of the verb, right? So to, to sing is her passion, right? So this is an infinitive that is working also as a noun, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, to sing is her passion. We can also say singing or like, you know, uh, her passion is singing, right? In this case, guys, is this a present participle? Is this something that's going on right now or is this a gerund? Is it? It's a gerund. It's a gerund. Gerund. Right. gerund. So it's a gerund, right? Very good, yes. right? Um, and you can also say her passion is to sing. Can I say this? Her passion is to sing? Yes. Right, very good. So they work as nouns, okay? They work as subjects and objects, okay? Uh, if I say, guys, you know, he sings, is this an infinitive? No, that's no. Pretty no. Right? simple present. Simple present. Okay, very good, guys. Good job. All right, you got it. End of the class. No, guys, absolutely not, right? But yes, <laughs> okay, these are, all right, that's an infinitive, right? So you guys tell me, right? What, what infinitives do we have? Try to give me infinitives. <clears throat> to play. To play. To jump. To, jump. Else? to cook. To cook. To study. To study, right? You're, you're like making a list of things that I don't like to do. No, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> out of all, okay. out of all, the, out of all these things, I, the only thing that I don't like to to do is cook. I don't like cooking. All right, but everything to else is to eat. Yeah, I, I love that. I love that to eat. Yes. To eat. To sleep. Okay. To sleep. Okay. So we have to yeah. sleep. What to else? Listen. To rest. To listen. To listen. Work. To improve. Work. What else? To read. To improve. All right, so we have to, to dance, to improve, 
to dance, to read, to drink, to watch, to right, etc. So on travel, and so forth. To travel. <clears throat> okay, so to travel. All right, to travel. All right, I think you got the idea, right? So to we enjoy, can to, to enjoy, wish. all right, to enjoy, to enjoy, right? So we have to wish, so on and so forth, right? No, I just just because I have OCD, let's complete to to um determine, right? Uh, all those to run, to what? To run. To run? You mean run? Okay. Yes, to, run, to run, right? To run. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, so we have we have a series of uh, infinitives here, right? So notice we can no, we can use these um, to start. We we can use these infinitives. Like now, right? We can say to play is good for your kids, right? What else could you say, guys? What would you say? To jump, right? Let's say to jump. <coughs> so what example can we come up with, to, uh, jump, with to jump? To jump is a funny activity. All right, so to jump is a funny, it's a fun activity, right? It's a fun activity. You can, if you say funny, guys, if you say funny, it means that it makes you laugh. Doesn't mean it. Now, if you say fun, right? So if you say fun, right? Fun is like, it's very entertaining, right? It's like a synonym for entertaining, right? So to jump is fun, right? You can say to jump is fun. To cook, to cook is something Difficult. David doesn't uh, right. negatives, right? Doesn't Difficult. like like to do. Okay. Like to do. I don't I don't like it. I don't like it, but I have to sometimes, right? <laughs> Matter chan. Very good. So what else? What to else? Learn English is necessary for me. <laughs> Very good. So we can all right. So we can also say um, to learn English, right? So to learning now, repeat learn. Learn. All right. So remember, remember, it's very important to pronounce the final consonant at the end. Okay. So to learn is very important for me, right? Now, again, guys, the important thing I want you to notice here is that this is working, right? So this right here is working as a noun, right? To jump, to cook, to learn, etc. Right. So, are we clear, guys, on the definition of infinitives? Mm -hmm. All right, do me a favor, guys, real quick. Send me one example of an infinitive in the chat, okay? So, Jose, I'm sorry, Jose, I had not read your, your message, right? Let me take a look at it, even if it is a favor, like jump to synergy to jump into position. That is correct, uh, Jose, Aleman. What you, what you asked me is correct, okay? So, to eat, all right, so send me one example, guys, okay? To eat vegetables is good for my health. So what Jose, what Jose, guys, is asking me is this, okay? So we got an example like this. Meanwhile, guys, right? So we got an example like this, right? So, So basically, if we say this, right, jumping into a pool is dangerous, right? This would be considered a present participle or, or a gerund, guys? I think it's a gerund. Gerund. 100% a gerund, right? Because it's taking the position of a subject, right? It's working as a noun, right? Mm -hmm. So, right? And then to jump into a pool is dangerous, that is correct too, right? So the, in this case, Right. This is also, I mean, it's an infinitive, right? But it's also working as as a as a noun, right? Right. Okay, very good, guys. So send me an example, guys. Keep sending me your example. So far I got two. To eat vegetables good for my health. Right. Very, very good. Remember, guys, it can take the position, the position of, a, of an object too, right? So you got the subject, then you got the object. Since we can have since we can have um, nouns, 
in the subject position or the object position as well, right? To dance is very entertaining for some people. To sing is really entertaining and fun. Good job. Good job. All right. Continue, guys. Continue with your examples, okay? To read books is good for your memory and creativity. That is correct. To study English improves the opportunities to have a better job. Okay, yeah, that is correct. To dance is good for your health. Good is in opera keys, but that's okay. I, uh, to dance is relaxing, very good. All right, I think that you get the idea, right? To play soccer is my favorite sport, right? Now that, that would be okay. So that, that is actually incorrect because then you're saying it's my favorite sport. If you're referring to the sport itself, the noun soccer would be the one that you should be using. You should be saying soccer is my favorite sport. Then if you say to play soccer, you can say to play soccer is my favorite activity, right? You could say something like that, right? But the action, if you're referring to the action, you need to change, uh, you need to change the object of the sentence, okay? Well done, guys. Well done, okay? All right, so any questions here, guys? Are we good? So we have, uh, we look forward to hearing from you soon. <clears throat> very good job, Sandra. That is very advanced. All right. Very, very good. All right. It's possible, guys, to use, right, two plus a gerund. <clears throat> but let me ask you something, Sandra. Where is the infinitive there? That, that, is, that is a perfect sentence, right? So that is correct. But that is not an infinitive, right? You're, you're, um, when you say look forward to, is actually working as a preposition. And after prepositions, we use gerunds. Okay, so you're using a gerund, right? Um, and that example is perfect if you're talking about gerunds. If you want to look at, uh, at infinitives, we need to use, you know, two plus the base form of the verb, right? To do exercise is healthy. To swim is good for your health. Very good job. All right, you got it, guys. You got it. Okay. All right, so let's move on, guys and girls. Let's move on and, um, all right. So let's take a look at how to use infinity phrases, right? So we can use it, guys, as a noun, right, to travel. This is These are the type of examples that you've been <coughs> sending, okay? Now, we can also use it as adjectives, okay? Now, you are not going to have to know these guys uh, for the exercises that we have in the platform, okay? But why is this working as an adjective? I'll give you exactly zero dollars if you answer this correctly. So, so you, <laughs> there is your motivation right there. Is this an adjective? Do you think that that's an adjective? Maybe because you're like yes. identifying that book as yeah, it's great as now. you need to read. Okay. All right. All right. That that is correct. Okay. All right. But so you're you're saying yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. It's an adjective because it says there that it's an adjective. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is an explanation, guys. I promise you, there is an explanation. And the thing, guys, real quick, okay, this is not going to be, you're not going to have to do this as part of, of but I'm just going to quickly explain it, okay? Um, an adjective, guys. What is an adjective? What is the job of, of an adjective? Describe a noun. Very good job, okay? So it is to modify, right? To modify a noun, okay? A noun or pronoun, okay? Okay, that is its job to modify a noun or pronoun. Or you can say to modify an object, a subject and an object, right? So we're good. So take a look at this, right? So in grammar, guys, in grammar, right? You have to think about the job of the part of speech, right? See, if I say beautiful, beauty, hold on, be, be a beautiful, right? So if I said, if I said beautiful, is this a, an adjective? What do you think? 
Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> How do you yes. know? How do you know? We still don't know. The answer is I don't know yet. Okay. Because imagine that I have a dog and my dog's name is beautiful. Hey, beautiful, uh -huh. right? So uh -huh. if I say beautiful is eating. So is this an adjective? Yeah. No, it's a noun. Okay. All right, in this case, this is a, a noun, noun, right? Very good. Wow. Exactly. Exactly, guys, right? So, so it's not the word itself. It's the job the word has on the sentence itself, okay? In the sentence itself, okay? So now, <clears throat> all right. I have. Let's let's uh, Walter. Well, Walter, Walter yeah. has four girlfriends. Oh wow. my god! Oh. All right. <laughs> wow. Wow, Walter. All right. Wow. So Walter has four oh girlfriends. Oh my god! Now wow, let me ask you Walter. something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. He has, he has oh, ten. Yeah. All right, he has ten. All right, all right. Yeah. All right. Superman. So listen. So, <laughs> so listen, guys. All right. Do we have an adjective here? Yeah, a noun. What that? Or. Yeah, right. or is, yeah, yeah. We we have a noun, right? We have a noun. Yes, we have a noun. All right. So do we have an adjective? Yeah. What is the adjective that we have here? Number four, exactly four. right. Four. Yeah, we have and we have another noun here, right? Yeah. No. Okay. Number. F this is an adjective. Why? Why is that an adjective? Modify the noun because it's modifying. It's Come talking down. about girlfriends, right? Yeah. Got it. Okay. So you're getting the idea, right? Any yeah. word, guys. Any word that modifies a noun or a pronoun, right? Or the subject or the object, which is. Remember, subject, guys, is just the category. And within the category of subject, you have the nouns and you have the pronouns, right? Anyways, so any word, guys, that modifies a noun or a pronoun or the subject or the object of the sentence turns into an adjective, okay? So when we go back to the previous example, all right, there was she has a book to read, right? So like right here, right? So she has, she has, has a book to read. So in this example, guys, we have she, right? That would be the? The subject. The, the subject, right? It, it's a subject, right? Yes, it's a subject. What type of subject? Pronouns. It's a pronoun, right? Very good, okay? All right, very good. So, but we know it's, you know, we know it's a pronoun, right? Let's call it a pronoun, which is more specific. Now, then we have book, right? And book is? No. 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 Okay. no. No. It's a noun, right? It's a noun, guys. Okay. It's a noun, right? Now to read. To it's read is talking. Now we know that to read is a verb, right? But to read is talking about what? Infinity. Book. To read is talking about book. Okay. Book. So therefore, this is working as an adjective. Got it? Yeah. Because it's modifying. The word book, the, the the noun book. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. We can say. Um. All right. Let's have another example. The position is the is the opposite. The the rules when you put the adjective normals in the sentence, because the adjective is before the noun, but when you use a, a infinite phrase like a adjective is after the noun. Yes, that is correct. That is correct because, because, uh, because that that that's the only way that would make sense, right? And infinity needs to be used afterwards. Okay, so let's say we have I don't know. Let's look about. <sighs> I have an experience to live. I uh, okay. So Yesenia, right? So Yesenia, <coughs> Jesse. Okay, because I don't know how to spell Yesenia. Right? Jesse has an experience to live right yes very good uh -huh. See? so in this case right to live is modifying experience yeah. and experience is a noun right mm -hmm. okay and therefore this is an adjective sounds mm -hmm. good all right it's just you have to ask yourself this question okay hey what is this word 
talking about, okay? Or what part, what part of speech this word is talking about, right? Remember, we have eight parts of speech, right? We have, we have nouns, we have pronouns, right? We have, adjectives. we have adjectives, adjectives, we have adverbs, Verbs. we have yeah. verbs. verbs, we have uh, prepositions, right? Preposition. Prepositions, Subject. we have conjunctions. No, those. And we have interjections, right? So if you wanna if you wanna form a sentence, a question, whatever, guys, these are the parts of speech, right? So how do I how do you identify them? Okay, you have to ask the question: what part of speech is this word talking about? Is this part of speech talking about experience? And I misspelled experience, guys. Hold on, let me. Correct that experience, okay, experience. Now, if, I, if I'm talking about experience, right, which is a noun, then it's an adjective, right? Let me give you another example. So how would you determine, for example, if you said, uh, if you said, um, uh, no, 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 no. I don't know, let's talk about Dua Lipa, right? Dua Lipa, right, sings pretty bad. I'm kidding, guys. If you like her, I don't know. I don't care. Very good. So, listen. So, what is what is pretty here? Is that is that a is that a is that an adjective? Is pretty an adjective? It's an adjective. It's a what? Adjective. It's an adjective. It's an adverb. It's an adverb. Yes. Why is it okay? So, ask yourself this question. Hey, what part of speech this word is talking about? So, what part of speech is this talking about? About singing. About, about Pretty, no, listen, listen. About verb. Sing. <coughs> Describe so, verb. So so we're so verb. pretty oh, hold on, hold on, hold it. Hold your horses, okay? So is pretty talking about sings? Yeah, sings. Yes. Oh. Really? Sing. So, yeah. If I said guys do Alipa sings pretty, then no. yeah, pretty would be talking about sing, but I'm saying pretty sing. bad. Bad. So pretty is modifying what? What is pretty modifying? Bad, bad, bad right? Bad. Very good. Bad. And bad is what? In this case, I know. Are you sure bad is, is bad an adjective? No. no. In that case. I'm well, not the tip, but Hold on, hold on. All right. Do me a favor. Okay, right, all right. Hold <laughs> yours one at a time. Okay, one at a time. I think, I don't know. But really, but adverbs describe adjectives and describe verbs. Yeah. Adverbs describe yeah. verbs, adjectives, and, ad and adverbs. Three things, right? Anyways, yeah. okay, hold, hold your horses, guys. Okay, so, all right, so somebody said in that case. Who said in that case? I said. All right, so yes, yes, right. So, yes, go ahead, Jesse. I'm sorry, go ahead. In that case, what, Jesse? Um, it's a verb, it's a adjective. Yes, yes, thank you, yes, thank you. <laughs> Hold on, thank you guys, thank you for participating. Just let me hear yes, okay, and then I'll give the opportunity to somebody else. Go ahead. Well, we have a noun that is Dua Lipa, then we have a bird that it sings, then we have like, well, in that case, I think I made a mistake because but it will be another noun, I think. No, no, it's it's not a noun. It's yes, yes, right? I think it's oh, a noun. Okay, all right, all right, very good. Okay, no, no, it's not a noun. But good it's try, not, good try. It was a noun. Good, <laughs> ana good analysis. No, I'm not. I don't know. I, I'm asking you what it is, right? So okay, this hold is on. A, huh? I'm sorry. A, go ahead. Yes, I think it's an adjective. Albert. Remember that an adjective uh, in um. It can, I, I mean, I don't know. Yancy, okay, Yancy, thank you. Thank you so much, Yancy. Yancy? I don't know. No, okay. Uh, I, I don't know. Somebody else? Hey, this I, is I a, 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 a,
For me, it's Albert. It is a, it Albert and Bad is an adjective. Yeah. Yes. Are you mute, teacher? <laughs> Teacher, I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I was saying, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I was saying, uh, please mute yourselves now. I'm going to explain to you. Can I say, guys, do Alipa sings bad, yes or no? No. Can it, sings listen, can I, can I say, do Alipa sings bad, yes or no? Yes. 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 I, can, I can say that, right? Yes. So, bad, bad. That. Let me ask you something. Okay, hold on. Is bad talking about sings? Is bad talking about Dua Lipa? If I say Dua Lipa is bad, I'm talking about Dua Lipa. But if I say Dua Lipa mm -hmm. sings bad, then what is bad talking about? Sings. About sings, right? And sings yes. is a verb. So something that modifies a verb is an it's adverb, an right? Very good, an mm -hmm. adverb. So pretty, pretty is talking about what? Is he talking about Dua Lipa? Is he talking about sings? Or is he talking about bad? Bad. 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 It's talking about bad. It's intensifying the adverb bad. So pretty mm -hmm. is an adverb too. This is an adverb. We have oh two adverbs. Oh my adverbs. God. All right. Sounds I good. Yeah. Anyways, right? Don't worry. Don't worry about that yet. <laughs> don't worry about that yet. Okay. Just that's a, just so you know, guys. It's important to know oh part mm -hmm. of speech, right? Because that's how you recognize something. You know, it's an adjective. So now, guys, let me ask you something, right? Okay. So. Is it clear as vodka petrov 3000 guys what an adjective is? I mean, what uh, to read, why to read an adjective? Yes. Yeah. Right? Like vodka petrov 3000 percent alcohol <laughs> clear? Yes. Yeah. All right, very good. Very good. Adjectives. Clear, clear, clear. As, clear as the time your ex boyfriend or girlfriend <laughs> told you. It's clear hey, you like what? a chata. I, I don't want to be with you anymore. Is, is it clear like that? <laughs> yeah. <All> right. <laughs> hey, why do you laugh, Walter? You have you have ten girlfriends, right? Very good. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways, okay, let's move on, right? So you can work as an adverb. Okay. Now, after I explain to you what an adverb is, what an adjective is, right? Um, let me ask you something. So, why is to get an adverb here? Who wants to explain that? Raise your virtual hand and explain it to me, please. No, but same thing. No. Remember, you have to ask yourself one question. What is that one question? What is the question that you have to ask yourself, guys? Remember the question that you have to ask yourself? This one right here? Ask yourself that question in the example that I'm showing right now. Okay. So, so what is the question that you have to ask yourselves? What is this word modifying, right? What is this word talking about? So this phrase, right? Let's talk about the phrase. What is this phrase talking about? This verb, is, this word is talking about studies, right? Yes. <clears throat> So if it's talking about studies, this is, studies is a verb, right? Yes. Okay, therefore, this Not is verb. an adverb. Ad ad very good. So yes. very good. So infinitive phrases, guys, can work as nouns, can work as adjectives, and can work as adverbs. And you know why now, right? Very good. Very good, guys. So congratulations, right? Let's have a, let's have a round of applause, guys. All right, and a plus, a round of applause for me for explaining so well. No, a round of applause for you guys, of course, right? Not for me. All right, very good, guys. Very good. Okay. Any questions here, guys? Is it clear? All right. Okay. All right. So now, what are gerund phrases, right? So it's a verbal phrase that ends with ing, but, right? Or end functions as a noun, okay? So the, 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 the key word here is that it works as a noun, right? So swimming is my favorite activities. So this is not a present participle. Why not? Swimming is a noun. Swimming is a noun. 
because swimming is working in, in that position of a noun, right? I don't know. Uh, can I say, I don't know, tell me something that you like to do. Um, someone, raise your hand. Just, just tell me one activity that you like to do. Taking a nap. What? Running. Yeah. Taking a nap. Okay, so I could say taking a nap, right? So taking, I'm, I'm sorry, taking a nap, right? Running is something she likes. Taking a nap is, uh, is good for lazy people. No, I'm kidding, guys. It's good for your health, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, so taking a nap is good for your health. What else? Reading. Let's 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 go negative, right? Do you like negativism? <laughs> no, let's go negative. Negativism in sentences, right? So, walking is is a dangerous. It's a dangerous. Uh, yeah. Oh, smoking is, is dangerous, right? We can say smoking yeah. is dangerous, okay? But let's we, we can start, guys, with the particle not, okay? Not, uh, not reading not is good for what? It's good for controlling go for... people, okay? Not reading is good for controlling people. Notice, guys, that we also have, we have a gerund here, right? And we have a gerund here too. Why? Because they're not representing a, a, an action that is happening at the same time, right? This is working, not reading is actually working as a subject and controlling, right? People is actually working as an object, okay? Right, so we have two gerunds here, right? So yes, you can use them like that too, okay? Do we have any questions, guys, about gerunds? All right, so how do we use a gerund phrase, okay? So we can use it as the subject of the sentence, right? Because remember, right? We, yeah. they work as nouns, right? So running is good exercise. We know that those are the examples that you gave me. Beautiful job, right? She enjoys swimming. Now, let me ask you, does that mean that she's swimming at that moment? Yes or no? Yeah. She enjoys swimming? No, no right? So mm -hmm. it's the object, okay? It's the object of the sentence. It says the object of a verb, right? Because it's the object of this verb, right? So what is what is this receiving, right? Okay, so this is receiving the action of enjoying. Okay, so she enjoys swimming. This is taking the position of the object, right? We have the subject and we have the object. He's afraid of flying. So after preposition, and by the way, guys, remember this, because um, one big mistake that we have in Spanish is using for Right, because in Spanish you say uh, para correr, and then you say for run, right? I exercise for run. Is this correct? I exercise for run. I exercise running. For running. For running. For running. All right. We running. say right for running, right? I right. I exercise. Let's use a phrase of it, right? So I work out. For running. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, so where is the preposition in this sentence, guys? Oh. Of. Of, right? Oh. He's afraid of flying. <laughs> every time, guys, oh. every time that we have a preposition, including prepositional phrases, okay, every time that we have that, we will need to use a gerund, okay? Okay, we need to use a gerund. You cannot say for plus the base form of the verb, okay? And this includes, guys, prepositional phrases as well. So one of you gave me one really clear example on that, which was, um, for example, um, um, so you can say, I'm looking forward to, to right? This looking forward to, guys, okay? This whole thing right here, this is not working. That preposition right there is not working for infinitives, okay? This whole phrase is a preposition. Remember that. The whole phrase is a preposition, okay? So because it's a preposition, the next word that needs to come out here would be yeah. what? Yeah. I gerund, right? So I'm looking forward to 
talking to you. I'm looking forward to seeing you. I'm looking forward to, uh, I don't know, uh, meeting you or singing tonight or uh, getting good results, so on and so forth, right? Okay. Why? Because it's a preposition every time that we have preposition. So um, let's think about, I don't know, let's, let's, uh, let's say we have, you can say, um, uh, Cheyenne, right? Let's go with Cheyenne because I'm, um, I'm very creative, right? So Cheyenne is the only thing that I have. So Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne is tired. <laughs> now, listen, some words. <laughs> So all right, let's call it let's call him Choyan, right? Choyan, right? That is that's gonna be our version, right? Choyan, right? Choyan. Cho Choyan. Cho Choyan, right? Choyan. Very good. Choyan is tired of, right? We always say guys tired of. You cannot say tired with, tired about. No. These two words, guys, right? So adjectives and prepositions sometimes go together no matter what. Like listen to, right? So tired of. This is how you say, right? Chan is tired of. Remember, working say, hard. hold on. The point, guys, is that you, you have to know that we have to use a noun, right? Because we are talking about, uh, because uh, uh, Jared is a noun. So we can say, Ch Choyon is tired of you, Dancing. for example. Mm -hmm. You can say, mm -hmm. Choyon is tired Dancing. of, or, or, of Dualupe, right? Right? <laughs> you can say that because those would be nouns, right? But in that case, right, since, since Jared's are nouns, we can say, Chon is tired of dancing. Chon is tired of talking to your mom, right? Yes or no? Traveling. To our moms, right? <laughs> All right. Does that make sense? Okay. Because we're following after, we're following that after a preposition, okay? All right. Do me a favor, guys. So everybody, all right, in your notebook, and then I'm going to ask you, okay? So everybody in your notebook, I want you to give me a gerund um, as the object. Actually, let's do three, okay? Give me one as the subject of the sentence, okay? Using a different verb. I don't want you to say running, right? Or swimming or flying, right? Don't, don't be politicians, right? Don't be rats. <laughs> okay, so give me your own examples, okay? Of your own verbs, okay? So you have to say, you have to use it as the subject of the sentence or the object of the sentence or after a preposition, okay? All right, give me one, one, and one in your notebook. I'm going to give you three minutes and then I'm going to ask around, okay? Let's okay. go, guys. Thank you. 
Ready, teacher. All right, great. Okay, so what examples you got? Okay. Oh, well, abounding blessings are our God's love sample. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm sorry, could you please say that example again? Abounding blessings are our God's love sample. Okay, so I, I'm gonna type that in here, okay? So you say a lot of blessings, are you saying that? A lot of blessings? No, abounding, abounding blessings. Abounding is abound the abundar, right? Abundant. Uh, abounding. Abounding. Abundant? You mean abundant? Uh, with an O here. With an O here. Abo, abo, abundant. Abounding. Uh, because um, well, I'm I'm trying to use the the first like uh, subject, you know, abounding. Okay, in, abound. In, okay, right. So abounding. abounding. Okay, abounding. Yeah, abounding. Okay, <clears throat> okay. abounding. Uh huh. All right. So abounding blessings. Uh huh. Are our God's love sample? Uh huh. Are uh -huh. our God's love God. what? Uh huh. Love sample. I'm not understanding the last part. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Sample, 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 like that. Sample, sample. that's it. Uh huh. Okay, abounding blessings are a gas love sample. Okay, all right, very good. So abounding blessings. Okay, so here abounding uh, is working. Abounding is actually abounding blessings. Actually, right. Uh, yes. So what are you're using this as a as an as a as a noun or as or an, an noun. adjective? As a noun. Okay, very good. Yes, abounding blessings actually. Is the whole subject of the sentence here, right? Subject, so, yes. Of okay. All right. Um, so abounding is modifying what? Abounding is modifying blessings, right? Blessings. So this, uh -huh. so this is actually an adjective. This right here is not a gerb. Yeah, less an adjective, of course. Very good. Okay. Very good. So this uh -huh. right here, right? This is an adjective, right? Adjective, and, yeah. And the blessings class, noun. would be the noun, right? So this is the yeah, gerb. Good job. Good job, right? What is your other example? My other example is my students love swimming. Okay, my students, right? My students love uh -huh. swimming. Love swimming. And the other one is like an object, you know? Yeah, object. this is working as the object, yes. Uh -huh. Object. And the other prepositions is I'm afraid of using elevators. I'm afraid of using elevators. Very good. Elevator. Uh, very, very 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 good examples good job perfect thank you so much sandra that was wonderful You're welcome. You're all right welcome. very good applause for sandra yes good job sandra all right great all right so who wants to give me their examples guys hello me teacher all right yes okay let's go okay yes not inviting him was a mistake not inviting him was a mistake okay mm -hmm. all right very good I like that. So not inviting, right, is the subject. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. She loves eating pupusas. He loves eating pupusas. Okay, very good. Eating, right, is the object. Well, hold on. But now if you say he loves eating pupusas, yes. is the object, okay? Yeah. Eating pupusas is the all. The, the whole object of the sentence here, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, so, but that's correct. Okay, next one. I am ready for winning. All right, so I am ready for winning. winning. Yes, very good, I'm good job. Ready. Great example, great example. Thank you very much, right? Good job, thank you, Jesse. Was very yes too. All right, next example, guys. Next example. Me teacher. Me teacher. All right, so we got Walter. Go, go ahead, Patricia. Go ahead. Patricia. Okay, okay thank you. Playing chess is good for me. All right, so we got playing chess is good for me. Very good. What else? He hates eating. <laughs> he 
He hates eating it, fish. Fish, good job. She's afraid of losing the game. She's afraid of losing, losing the game. game, right? Good job. Those are perfect examples too. Good job. Was well, for Patricia, and then we got our dear friend Walter. Let's go, Walter. Okay. <clears throat> Taking a nap after lunch is good because you will become more productive. Because you will become more productive. 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 productive yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I enjoy watching TV with my family every night. Okay. I I enjoy watching TV with my family every night. Okay. All right. And I am I am bored of doing nothing when I on vacation. I am what? I am bored. I'm bored of yeah. Okay, I'm bored of doing nothing. Nothing during when vacation. I vacation. During vacation, right? Very good. Okay, perfect examples. Good job. That was for Walter too. Thank you, Walter. All right. Anybody else, guys? Me teacher. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we are learning so much in this class. Now remember, the first example that I want is a gerund, right? Working as a noun. So if you say we are learning, learning so much, so much in, in this, this class. class. This right here is this is this a is this a gerund? Yes, yes. Okay, all right. What does everybody else think, guys? Is that a gerund or not? I think that no. This is a present. Present progress. Right. It's present no, it's participle. Present right. It's a present participle. Okay. Because it's it's a okay. demonstrating action that is occurring in a progressive situation. Right. So this is not a gerund. A gerund needs to work as a noun. Okay. Okay. All right. It's like saying, I mean, you you should be able. You know, to switch the word for a noun. So this is like saying, so you should be able to do this. We are choyon so much in this class. Is, is Does this sound correct? We are choyon so much in this class? <laughs> no, right? Because you are taking the position of an action that is occurring progressively, right? So it needs, an example would be this, okay? Um, you could say learning, right? Learning in this class is great. It's great. Now, very good. Now this is working as a gerund because that's taking the position of a noun. Okay, right? Okay. Does that make sense? All right. Let's let's hear the let's hear your other example. Oh, is that it? All right, very good, guys. Anyways, so guys, do we have any questions about gerunds, infinitives? Are we good? Do we good. know? Do we know now, guys? Do we know now? Like Volka Petrov, three thousand percent clear. The difference, the difference between a gerund and an infinitive, and a present yes. participle. All right, very good. So we're gonna continue talking about that tomorrow, but we're gonna use them as phrases, okay? So we're gonna learn how phrases become a noun, okay? That is very interesting, guys. So thank you very much, guys. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night.